for this claim. Hello everyone, for this video, we'll be taking a look at a 3D print evolution or successor to the previous Ultra Kronos Bay. So before we continue with this video, make sure to check out Crazy Aries' YouTube channel as we'll be showcasing their creation. They have a lot of awesome content. Please make sure to support them and show them some love. And as well, mallabays.com. We have quite a bit of Beyblade Burst stuff still on our store. So if you're just wondering if we only sell Beyblade X now, no, we have Beyblade X and Beyblade Burst. It's an optional way to support the channel. I appreciate any support regardless. So I kind of already separated all of the parts because I just wanted to get started then and there. But I kind of want to start off with just saying, you know, did I have any real thoughts towards the original Kronos? Did I like it? Did I, I, I thought Kronos was fine. I, I mean, the blader was okay, you know, Kuza, whatever. Uh, uh, the bay wasn't all that interesting, the Kronos one. Kronos originally, for those that are wondering, was this idea that like there was like, what, this weight shift on like one side or the other side, which uh, I mean, it, it, it's fine. You know, it, it, it just wasn't that crazy for me. You know, I was like, whatever. And plus the bottom and was reused, whatever. I mean, the frame, you know, cool, but you know, it wasn't all that crazy. So we'll kind of go over the course. Obviously, I, I do like to sometimes just stylize it a little bit, you know, it's just personal interpretation on the stuff. Uh, yeah, just for the core, I know I painted it just kind of simple, whatever. I just wanted to do it to where it's the gray here, like that's a different shade because obviously I have a, a specific type of color for the filament. So I just decided to color all the gears here silver, maybe add some blue. I, uh, you know, I think it looks all right. You know, it looks, it looks fine. I believe this core should probably have some sort of like uh, little locks on it, whatever. I'm pretty sure they have BU locks molded in there. Yeah, hi. Uh, but yeah, just a pretty simple core and everything, but pretty neat nonetheless. Okay, now we get. So if we actually look at this compared to the original Kronos, just in design. I think it's interesting uh, what he did. It, it, it kind of just feels like, you know, this idea, it's like, hey, you know, this is the shape. Okay, we're gonna modify it a little bit. It's kind of on the edges and all that stuff. So it looks pretty nice. It does also have this gimmick here where depending on what orientation you have this bottom black piece on, which we're gonna see if I can get this out or if this uh, for some reason breaks because I can't rip it off, but all right. So depending on what orientation you have for whatever side, you can either have it be either in stamina or attack. You have specific explanations for the differences. I don't really care what orientation I have this thing in, but I thought this was a kind of a, a cool take on like the gimmick of the weight shift kind of on contact points for how it's covered. I, I, I like that quite a bit. Uh, and then after we get to the rest of the parts here, you got your six armor, your karma disc and quattro dash. Honestly, this is pretty much, if Kiritomi was ever gonna do it, this probably would have been what they would have picked, to be honest with you. I am going to now assemble this here. Okay, we're gonna get our scale out here already. We're gonna see the weights for everything. About 6.93. We have our lovely two, 15 grams, goddamn. Okay, uh, yep, about 13.26, 29.10, 10.76. We're going to assemble this all together now and you get to a total weight of about like 75 grams. Very cool. So now if we just compare, it's kind of nuts actually just looking at it. Yeah. I probably could have added maybe, maybe I guess technically because there is the whole section. Oh no, I, I think I actually painted it there. Right, never mind. Whatever. Uh, I mean, either way, this is pretty close to what they would probably have actually done, so actually not bad at all. So I thought instead of just making this be like, oh, I battled just every single one, I thought for all the future ones now, just because we're at that moment for content, why not just do a theme? So like, since this is Beyblade vs. God stuff, we'll try to make this only really battle against mostly God era stuff, but whatever's like the closest to a final evolution or whatever, just because I thought that'd be kind of neat, you know? You know, kind of like thematically, you know, we got something. I usually don't show off the high mode, but I did make sure to record a segment just showing off high mode. Wow, it looks very silly. Very, very silly. Well, alrighty, we have everything set up now. So let's first do, so I, I figured we'll do every three bays, I'll, I'll change the mode on here and maybe I'll, I'll flip it the other way on whatever mode I have this on. So I don't know, I guess we'll be experimenting, but thought we'd do a test launch. 
Epic. Alrighty, well, Wyvern, yeah, let's get this, uh, get this started. Yeah, it, it, it's pretty heavy. I mean, I threw it against Wyvern, so it's probably gonna beat the shit out of it. Maybe, I don't know, actually, I don't know how good the stamina on this thing is, so maybe I'm wrong or something. Even though I have this, this is gonna be our substitute for Garuda. I know I did three prints a Garuda, but it is not uh, with us anymore. So we will go with this. I actually think it's gonna lose. Oh good, okay, so maybe I can try to actually launch with Quattro Dash and see what I can pull off here. Look at that, we're already dead. Am amazing. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Kronos finally, Oh. Well, I mean, it, it did evade, right? It did evade. Uh, the only thing I remember from Kronos is when it, it stalls on one part of the stadium just out loud. I think it technically did that. Wow, we are Beyblade vs. God accurate. Okay, next up, we're gonna switch the mode. We're gonna switch it to attack. Alrighty. You can't grip it. You have to basically flat launch it. They, it's not fun. But what is fun is gonna be seeing whether or not I can get this shit, this shit to work. Okay, the ultimate Belio. Okay, that's already one point loss because of Quattro Dash. That is two points lost. Thing is, if I if I if I launch it like this, I have a better chance, but also I have no stamina. There should have been a point in the anime where Shu just uses attack mode and he's like, "Oh wait, wow, this design sucks. I don't think I can control." So it lost all, all the points already uh, against this belly hell because it didn't showcase all the potential. At this point, I'm just going to try to entertain this and just try to see if it can even hit. I think our poor Kronos is gonna get clapped up by these bays. It's okay. Well, I don't know, maybe it pulls something off with some crazy stamina stuff, we don't know. Relive the early Beyblade Burst God meta when Kronos was relevant. Oh, well, it died. Well, your last option is Burst Spriggan, buddy. And let me tell you something, Burst Spriggan's not gonna let you live. I do appreciate that we basically got to see them both fight back against each other. That was pretty neat. Oh, I've gotten rid of the, the Unite mode, the Balance mode, and the Attack mode. Fantastic. Oh god, that means I have to now, after this, I gotta switch the modes and I gotta switch the bottom. Hey, you wanna know what? He's not doing the, you know, at least won that one. Alrighty. Next up, we're gonna go with uh, this Stamina bottom. And now, uh, whatever mode I had this, oh right, I have to disassemble this, sorry. Okay, whatever mode I had this thing in, we're gonna take it apart right now. So uh, it just has, okay, I believe I have now changed the mode, I think. Well, it's either I did or I didn't. So it's either I, I did or I just confused myself while assembling this thing. We're gonna find out. I'm wondering, I, I, I couldn't tell which one was which. So either this is in attack mode for the twisted thing in stamina, or I got it right in the stamina and the stamina mode. Otherwise, I just uh, did some crazy stuff, I guess. No, we're gonna up, get it up against a Vanish Fafnir. You know what I will say? It doesn't feel a little bit weird when you're kind of imagining the bases from like the past and like their final evos battling against each other. Well, like the, I mean, technically some of these are technically successors, not literal evos, but you know what I mean, right? It's like this weird, like, finale feeling every time that I do these things sometimes, just like... Yeah. It is kind of funny, Kronos uh, did not get that much attention. I mean, I don't really blame TT anyways. I don't... Do a lot of people like Kronos? Or do we have any Kronos fans? How popular are remote teeth is what I'm trying to ask. Nice. Oh, this is actually a genuine question. I'm actually trying to think, like... I guess Satan had to be more for it to get like an evolution in sparking. You know, actually, the more I think about it, you know, they could have probably done. I don't even know how you could. Never mind. Nice. 
Oh, I mean, listen, the stamina here is absolutely slapping. So we've pretty much got two done and done. I want to get Cyclone and see whether or not does this stamina live up to the Ragnarok? We're going to find out. It always has that aggressive movement. It's like an aggressive uh, stamina type. Okay, I mean, the last one's like kind of like this weird one because we basically have the, the defense mode on it for the Quattro. Yeah, this is uh, so so. Like, not, not really hating. I like, did fair enough. It's Quattro, man. Plus, anytime there is new tip stuff, I usually uh, don't have enough resources just to do that. So I'll take what I can uh, get if I have to reuse another tip. So get this up against Burst Spriggan. Amazing. This riveting, exciting Kronos finale for the duel. Well, it's a good thing for the last two. It's literally like attack type. So I'm also realizing you know, it's not that crazy. I also could be just having this in the wrong mode for the Twisted Blade, but... Damn! Well, Kronos, if you don't pass this one, you will die. I don't know if you'll break, but you will die. Oh, wow. No, it literally just did. There's no KO res Oh, God. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, my God. Okay, well... Let me try it again. Bruh. Okay, see, we kind of fought, but... Uh, I don't know if this camera can see it. Or not. I'm gonna just show both. Uh, I just chipped off some rubber off my uh, thing to it. Okay, well, this is... I don't know how much this is gonna actually do because it's Guilty Man, but... Yeah, Guilty is always the scary final one. Thank God there's not like a final longness where it's like even more scarier than the last one. Okay, absolutely obliterated. Um, bruh. We're gonna try one more, please. Okay. Accurate power scaled Kronos. I will take anything if I can win right now. So, I mean, you know, it did fine. Just, just fine. Did all right. Did okay. Did okay. Did all righty. Please. Please end it. Please end the battle. Please. Finish it. For the love of God. And you, and you still lost! And you still lost! Look at that. Oh, Kronos, come on, man! In, in fairness, listen, it had the Karma Discs. If this was with Illegal or something, yeah, I'm sure this could have probably done way better. But I wanted to say accurate, right? To the actual combination he left over. Alrighty, uh, final thoughts. Yeah, this is cool, it's Kronos. That's about it. <laughs> That's all my thoughts. So it's, uh, it was neat. It was neat. I don't know. Listen, not every time bays are going to sweep uh, all the time. Just This is for fun. So, yeah. Uh, cool work by Crazy Aries. I'm going to definitely check out a lot of the other stuff because I know he did a lot of dual layer evolution stuff. That's going to be pretty cool to actually check out. Um, and, yeah. Shout out to Kronos, man. And shout out to Quattro for not having any <laughs> KO resistance, dear God. Anyways, I want to say thank you all for watching. That'll be it for now. And have an amazing day and bye.